Three eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation and finally some fresh content. I'd like to thank you all very much for your patience over, I'd say now the past month, as I did take a break and then headed off to Los Angeles, so I've definitely missed a fair bit of news and of course interacting with you all. The plan is to now catch up on some movements that interested me over the past few weeks. Today we begin with a relatively new story, and that's taking a look at the Boeing 777X, an aircraft which in 2018 quickly developed into one of the most talked about aircrafts within the aviation industry. This is despite it actually receiving not a single order during the year. We are now just months away from seeing Boeing's latest bit of technology soar to the skies. In the first few days of January, Boeing revealed pictures showcasing their Boeing 777X with a notable addition, that being the two GE Aviation GE9X turbofan engines. The GE9X engines have been undergoing thorough testing on the ground and also in the air. They most notably were seen when they were featured on the General Electric Boeing 747 testbed. The GE9X is the largest ever fan produced for a commercial aircraft and is the successor to the GE90, an engine which features on the current 777 series and is known for producing an incredible spool up. With the two engines now being attached, they expect it to roll out as a completed aircraft by at least March of this year. This would give it time to complete its first flight sometime this year and then be delivered to customers in early 2020. Certification for the Boeing 777X will occur before delivery is allowed. The aircraft is also the 7779, as Boeing currently puts all its effort into this variant, with the 7778 expected to be delivered to customers in 2022. This is two years after its partner in crime, the 779. The approach to production, first flight certification and more is similar to what occurred with the 787 and A350. General Electric is already into its second round of testing with the GE9X, specifically though flight testing. The second round of testing will allow GE to better understand the systems on their GE9X before it's sent to Boeing for attachment. The 777X has had a busy few months, as mentioned earlier, with assembly for the first two 777s beginning in the middle of 2018 and by late 2018, the first rolling out, followed by the first flight 777X seeing all key fuselage components assembled and finally in December, Boeing powering up the 777X electric systems for the first time. The GE9X has received widespread praise from aviation enthusiasts and the general public. However, as recent videos have been posted, with the spool up being broadcasted, many have noted that it simply doesn't sound the same to the GE90, which was known for its rumble and roar. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm pleased to say normal service has indeed resumed and I'll be continuing to pump out these videos as quickly as possible. I'd like to thank you very much for tuning in and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly